Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. I ended up staying out here in the mountains a couple extra days, actually. We've been enjoying it, but we are officially out of supplies tonight. So the kitties are having their last dinner and then tomorrow morning, we gotta pack up and hit the road. So uh, it's been nice out here. There's more gunshots going off in the distance. It, it, it hits kind of, sometimes there's a bunch of it and then sometimes it's like five hours of nothing. There is a shooting range nearby. And I'm hanging out here with my friend Diana again from Blossom's Road Life and her two kitties, Yin and Yang. And yeah, Opie is very good off leash around Yin for some reason. I'm not even sure why. Maybe Yin and Yang are just a good influence on him. Um, so he got some outdoor time, which was a lot of fun and made me smile and laugh. But uh, they're in there having dinner and I'll be getting back to base camp here soon in this video to edit and upload this video. I didn't exactly uh, pack healthy for this trip, but don't worry. I still try to supplement my diet as best I can on the road. And for that, I wanna thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Whether long travel days on the road or camping far from anywhere where I can get fresh healthy food, AG1 provides that nutritional gap in my diet. With a combination of prebiotics and probiotics along with vitamins, minerals, and other whole food ingredients, AG1 is a convenient drink that I take every day. I know, people always say, Eric, you never eat healthy foods. We never see greens on your plate, I know. There's no easier way to get the supplements I need in just one scoop. It helps my immune defense and replenishes my bad diet choices, giving me this toned physique or body by tater tot, but, but all kidding aside, it keeps my gut healthy despite me not eating greens on a regular basis. With bioavailability and absorbability, many vitamins and minerals are hard for the body to process. But AG1 makes it easy by carefully sourcing their ingredients so your body gets the most out of the nutrients that you consume. Let me show you. Got my AG1 cup here, one scoop, Mmm, pop that guy right in there like that. Add eight to 12 ounces of water into there. Okay, put the top on there real good. Give her a good shake, I'm real good at that, yeah. And after about five to 10 seconds, there's what you get, all right? That's no tater tot, but surprisingly, and I've been taking this for 10 days now, Not bad. That doesn't even taste like 75 minerals and vitamins that I've been missing. <sighs> Guys, if I can do it, you can do it. And you're gonna love it just like I do. So hey, head on over to drinkag1.com slash nomadic fanatic or scan that code right there to get a one year supply of vitamins D3 and K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your subscription. And thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video today. Now, let's get back to those shenanigans. The sun is just getting ready to set. There's the Opie and Tara. Hi guys. <laughs> you tuckered out? Yeah, tuckered out. Lots of running today. Lots of sprinting. Tara, Tara sprints too much. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot your guys' leash and harness. But we're gonna have a fire. Yeah, Opie, we're gonna have a fire. Yeah. Gathered some uh, down branches that are really dry and Diana had some wood left over from her last camping spot. Gathered up some keystone-like cardboard and hoping these uh, pine needles will work as good starter fluid. Otherwise, I do have some Cheetos. Mm-hmm. And then I've got a tracker appointment tomorrow at noon, I um, can't see it because the windows are down, but when I got this tracker, the back convertible has good tint, good quality black tint. The, the roll-ups here on the front, it looks like a homemade job. Here, let me roll one up and show you. Don't know if that's gonna show up in your video, but it's purple. It's uh, purple and it makes me dizzy to look out on the other side because it's a very, very cheap Walmart tint. Doesn't look purple on your thing. It's very purple. So we're gonna have them strip both the roll-ups and we're gonna match this, which I believe to be 35%, and then also add a brow up here to help with the uh, sun in my eyes. Be the first 
I guess the first official tracker mod. Yeah. All right, tonight, got that fire. All right, the wind has completely stopped now. It was kind of windy today. We have neighbors over there. There's a white van in the woods. The road's way over there, and they went pretty far off grid, but as far as I know, we're the only three people here, Diana, me, and that camper van out there. That'll stop soon. They Once it gets dark, they stop firing off at the gun range over there. Let's light it up. Yeah, maybe this corner too. Still don't really know if these pine needles are going to catch fire. I think they will. What about the pine cones? That's a good question. Are these pine cones? Yeah, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Well, it's not not burning. I don't know if it's helping the fire, but... I think it actually did help the fire a little bit there, actually. All right, let's do it. Scrounged up some good firewood for tonight. Fire's going, Diana made me and some popcorn. Thanks for sharing the popcorn, Diana. Of course. I appreciate it. It's a nice night. Nice and cool. Perfect night for a fire. Heck yeah. We got a lot of wood to go through. Oh yeah, it's going good now. Lighting up the whole freaking forest here. <laughs> Check out the kitties here. You guys staying warm? Aww. Look at them, they're cuddling together. Actually, now that it's cooling off, I think I may close the windows. How do we do this? Right to there? Yep. I got you, kitties. I'm gonna close all the blinds, okay? You guys are too cute to toot, though. Can't wait to cuddle you tonight. And good morning, everyone. I slept a lot better last night with a few extra layers, but I tell you what, I really miss my RV right about now. Diana and I are getting packed up. She's gonna be going to Taterland after a few stops and running some errands also. Uh, I got the kitties in their little carrier ready. All I gotta do now is tear down their cat tent, tie the garbage bag to the back of the tracker there, and we're out of here. Back to Taterland. It's been fun out here, it's been nice. You don't have to stay in there, Tara. You comfy and secure and safe? <laughs> Opie came out. Wasted no time at all getting cozy, stealing my seat. This is Dad's seat. This is my seat. This is mine. You stole it. Good thing you're cute. Okay. Uh, all right. And today is also forecasted to be a high wind day. Um, we, we, we usually get a good breeze, but today we're having high winds. So, um, anyways, and I'm not super picky about tint. I'm not like paranoid. It's just, I don't even know if you can see again, black, good tint on the back cap, purple. Uh, and it's, it bugs me. It bugs me to the point where that's got to be a priority right there. Uh, so yeah, let me, uh, we got Diana parked in her spot over there. And then I got another friend coming in here later today after we get back from the tent shop. So let's head on down. All right, here we are at the place. This is where camper van Kevin, he loves this place. Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint. So uh, we'll go check in for my appointment and see how they do. All right, got the call from Mountain Mobile Auto Glass. Uh, the tracker's done and it was 35% uh, is what they decided that this back was closest to. And it's black and black and looks awesome. And we've got the brow up there, and they found a chip up there that they, they fixed. They also do chip repair here so, so it doesn't spread. And that was underneath where the brow was at. So it turned out great, except uh, now without AC and the fact that I can't roll down the windows and it's 82 degrees today, it is gonna be a little warm. 
it's gonna be a little warm, but they did awesome job here. There's a few little bubbles and stuff. They're gonna disappear over time. It'll do that healing process and the heat will help it. But in the meantime, um, I gotta make a decision. Gotta make a decision right now because camper van Kevin says I should go drop it off with Stan and get the high idle and the AC looked at and have him do his whole run around thing, which is a drop off thing. But I do have a ride who's willing to take me back to Taterland after I drop this off on St. John's and I think now it's just the right time to do it. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna go drop this off at Stan's and uh, meet him in person finally and uh, let him take care of the tracker. And then I've got the motorcycle at camp. I've also got a couple friends at camp that have vehicles. So let's stay cool. I'll turn on the uh, fan at least. Yeah, okay, let's do it. All right, I got the moonroof off stored. It's Really windy today, but uh, here's the place. Let's go talk to Stan. I don't see any geo trackers out here right now. All right, tracker is in good hands. Stan is a, a busy man. He's got a lot of, lot of work here. He just lost a mechanic, so it could be a couple weeks without the car, but he's gonna look over everything. Uh, he's also gonna do a timing belt on the tracker as well as look at the high idle and try to fix the air conditioning for me and see what's going on with everything else give it a full check he's going to call me if anything changes and uh i'm just going to leave him to do his thing and you'll play meet stan uh in a fall in a future video here when we come pick up the tracker which needs a name what should we call the tracker guys needs a name i'm leaning towards tater the tracker but i, I go by tater so Anyway, man is going to give me a ride back to uh, Taterland and I'll catch up with you there. Just about ready to move the Bigfoot to the new home here. The old RV came to about right there. By the way, Rainier Beer in Arizona. Yeah, uh, have a visitor over here. Amanda came up from the Pacific Northwest, actually Canada, British Columbia, and she stopped at a Walmart in Oregon and got me two 12 packs of Rainier beer. <laughs> it's like the taste of the Pacific Northwest and home. Yeah, so the old RV went to here. It is a lot brighter here because I had to take out a bunch. I even flattened this down as much as I could. But as far as I can tell, the RV won't even come up that far as well as I trimmed a bunch of branches right here, but left this whole side of shade right there. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be moving the Bigfoot over here and seeing what I need to raise and lower and dig out and lift up and all that stuff. The water tank's going to stay there. Diana's here with her two kitties. And actually, camp is pretty full right now. Not that we're at max capacity, but there's where Amanda's at with her class A, 33 foot. And this is another site I want to develop, which I'll have to get the chainsaw out again. There's no rock over there yet. And her car is right there where I also want to add rock. So one day we're going to get another truck full of Grizzly Run and also put it where Diana's at too. So um, actually while Danny's here, I'm wondering, maybe I should... Uh, help get his help with the slide put back in and do it right now but then I, that means i have to level it out of the way i'm not even gonna be comfortable sleeping well i might just sleep in the shed tonight on that air mattress till we get the rv level it's time to dump this time to dump the tanks that's the big thing so okay okay <laughs> yep one of my favorite things to do here on my off-grid property is to burn some cardboard and other waste in my 55 gallon drum that I guess it's on lease from camper van kevin i haven't given it back yet but still using it kevin um and it's something you can only do on off-grid property because uh, in the city you can't do this kind of stuff i do have garbage service but i collect a lot of cardboard and other stuff that uh takes up a lot of waste in the garbage can and takes me back to the old days at grandma's house on uh Sunday afternoons and Wednesday evenings we'd go to grandma's and she would let me and my brother pick the eggs she wouldn't pick them in the morning she'd let us grab the eggs from the chickens and also light the drums on fire of all the cardboard and garbage out there and back in those days it wasn't just harmless cardboard <laughs> it was probably plastics and stuff like that stuff stuff that today you wouldn't get away with and especially like a little gust of wind there easy easy 
Uh, here in this county, you do have to get a, you have to file an annual burn, a burn permit to be able to do this, and, and even for other things. So I have a, I have a permit there that's good. They have to come out and make sure you have water and capabilities to manage your fires. But yeah, oil drum fires. Hang on. <laughs> 